Dustin, I believe you know exactly what I expect. I want you to fight hard, I need you to fight clean. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch, now's the time. God bless. A lot of mutual respect between these two combatants. The only thing Habib really took issue with was some of the promotion that was champion versus champion. He says, I am the champion, he is the interim champ. And Habib is hoping to keep it that way in this epic main event clash tonight. Underway, Khabib Nurmagomedov in the black and gold. Dustin Poirier is in the blue with gold. Nurmagomedov striking has improved tremendously over the last 24 months or so. Had that knockdown against Conor McGregor, but in talking to Javier Mendez, they really feel like he's taking it to the next level. That being said, doesn't figure to lean on it too much tonight. Right now, these guys are just filling each other out. Nothing too crazy going on, obviously. We should start pressuring soon, and we've seen Duck. Dustin just looked for that calf kick pretty much so far. Keep his body on the outside, get that lead foot advantage. Back-to-back -back fights against southpaw strikers for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Fast double leg. Then on the single leg, head on the inside. And this is where he does his best work. Once he gets a hold of that leg, he just moves to the top, top of your body and just keeps you squished up against the fence. This is where Dustin said he did a lot of work. We'll find out if it pays off. So this is the first time that Poirier is feeling that famed Nurmagomedov pressure. And you see Poirier wide-eyed looking to his chief corner, Mike Brown, for some advice. And they take down for Khabib. And this is where he wants to be. This is where he beats everybody. He gets, under, he gets behind you underneath these arms, and he can just stay here for five minutes. It's hard to get him off you in this position. He'll beat your legs up with the knees, and then just make you carry his weight so you got nothing in you after. Outstanding control by Nermago Menov now transitions to the back of Dustin Poirier. Couple hooks in. says, I know I'm going to be taken down. I just have to keep the scramble going. And the scramble is not going right now. It's tough. Uh, Poirier got raked across the eye there a little bit by Nermago Menov. Now working on a little bit of a neck crank, not under the chin. And it hurts, but it doesn't choke. It just makes things miserable. And that's what Khabib does so well is he just makes things miserable for you. It hangs on your hands, beats you up, cranks your neck, keeps the pressure, makes you carry his weight. That's what we're seeing here. Poirier getting advice. Magomedov just covering the face and looking him on. Less than two minutes to go in the round. You see Magomedov wisely trying to upset the breathing pattern of Poirier. Poirier, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, trying to turn into the choke here, Dom. Yeah, he can't. It's not a choke. It's just nasty. It's just nasty. He makes it real nasty on you, Khabib. And that's what's happening right now. And see how he stays in that position no matter what, underneath both arms, and that's just not a fun position to be in if you're Poirier. Good job switching it around by him. So Dustin back to his feet, lands a knee to the body of Nurmagomedov. But no separation for Poirier, which could prove problematic. Well, he keeps getting behind his arms like that, and that's going to be an issue. And you see how he trips him. That's one of Khabib's best weapons is he trips you while he's taking you down over and over. And it's, he's attacking your legs with the foot sweeps yeah. while he's attacking your upper body, and that's a big difference. Right, the simultaneous attacks, the subtleties, the nuances. And notice his head is always higher than his opponent, and that makes you carry his weight as well. Those are trips. Those are what make the difference is that he trips you while he's clinching you. A lot of guys aren't using that at the same time. Still behind the arms. 
Khabib three for four on his takedown attempts thus far. Nice switch, but it's not enough because he keeps the hands locked. And you know, in wrestling, traditional wrestling, it's illegal to keep the hands locked. But in the fight, that's, what, that's why it's illegal in wrestling. Match, but it's hard to get away. Already north of three minutes of control time from the Mago Medov. really been put on the defensive early in this fight. Some nice ground strikes now from the champion. Oh, big elbow from Khabib. Poirier forced to squirm out. Nurmagomedov at his mauling best in round one. You're good. That's okay. That's okay. Not a lot of space. A drink okay. when you're ready. Listen, you smelt them out, all right? This one, this makes this one a decision. Okay, we got taken down because we were on the cage, yeah. you know? If we can, we got to try to stay, keep the center. He's going to try to back you up, but he, he's not going to walk into your power, so try not to back up if you can. Okay, I wanted to explode more, but yeah. he's looking for submissions waiting for me to explode. He's letting... Oh, it's okay, but on the feet, we can be a little more offensive now. We can start letting our hands go. You got him to work a little bit? Let's be smart this round, okay? Stay long. Touch him with all your shots. Touch any of any of your shots. Okay. Good jab. Good shoulder hand. Okay. Hey, the switch is almost there. He's gonna start slowing down. Switch is almost there. You gotta hold the leg. Nice job there by Dustin Poirier's cornerman, Mike Brown, his boxing coach, Daya Davis, Boca Boxing District there in South Florida. Poirier threw just six.